The guy doesn't even pass the salt. I mean, he eats everything at the table. They got tired of it. At some point, you got to say, wait a minute. We haven't won anything with this guy here. This is the Lombardi line with former NFL executive Michael Lombardi. Now, here is your host, Stormy Bonatoni on v the sports betting network. Chris Sims, NFL analyst, NBC Sports, former QB, joining us on the progressive guest line. And you said this morning on PFT Live about the, like, let's go to Kirk Cousins, since Michael said aside from Kirk Cousins, let's go to him quickly, because you said this morning, the more that you've sat on this and the more you've let it ruminate, the more you think Minnesota is crazy to have let him walk. Why do you think that? I know, you know, when I first went did it, I was kind of like, Gosh, man, wow, Kirk Cousins, why would he want to leave Minnesota and all the the great setup he has around him? And wow, go to Atlanta with kind of the unknown. And then I also was like, man, Atlanta, they want a guy that's, you know, 35 coming off an Achilles injury, right? I kind of, but then I, I, yesterday I had to do radio. I had to talk about it more. And the more I started to hear the things come out of my mouth, right? You kind of hear yourself. You got 24 hours to kind of think about it a little bit the more I started to listen to myself and go, man, it's crazy. You know, I know Kirk Cousins isn't Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes, right? But they're rare. There's like three or four of those guys in football. There's like 12 or 15 of them in the history of football. Like they're not easy to find that type of guy. They had a guy in their hand that they know is a proven commodity, a top 12-ish type quarterback in the NFL, right? You got an offensive coordinator head coach who's one of the best in football. And I don't know, I've been watching them for two years. Nobody can stop them on offense. They just go up and down the field, right? They got Justin Jefferson, Mario Addison, and now we're just going to roll the dice and go, oh, we'll find an elite quarterback somewhere here. I just, the more I think about it, I, I got to go, Kevin O'Connell must be going crazy and pulling his hair out right now that the front office overruled him here and that they penny pinched and let a, you know, a bona fide, really damn good starting quarterback out the door. And now we don't know where it goes from here. Well, let me push back on you though, Christopher, they've been in Kirk Cousins jail for five years. He takes all the money. The guy doesn't even pass the salt. I mean, he eats everything at the table. Like they, they got tired of it. At some point you got to say, wait a minute, we haven't won. We haven't won anything with this guy here. I think he's a really good player, but they haven't won anything. And unlike Brady and unlike some other guys who kind of take less money off the cap, this guy says, no, no, it's, it's all about money. I get it. I understand it. But, you know, like everybody wants to give the trophy to Atlanta, but when has he ever won or played well in a big game? No, I, 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 I hear you. Listen, I hear all those things, primetime Kirk Cousins, all that. I get it. You know, a lot of the times when I hear the primetime Kirk Cousins and all that, and, you know, I go, well, gosh, in a lot of those games, I look at the schedule and go, his team was the worst team there, so they weren't supposed to win. People act like it was like the But that's because he takes all the money, they're the worst team. They, well, that's because he I, takes I, all I the money. Too, but there's, you, you can't. there's other quarterbacks taking money too, right? I, you know, again, they, 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 their defense two years ago was absolutely atrocious. It was the worst in football, and it wasn't even close, right? So he wasn't – it was tough. They had to ride him that way. I know what you're saying, Mike. I'm not sitting here trying to say – He's like going to carry the team, but I think it's hard to just go, wait, we're going to just give away a guy that's a proven commodity and really damn good. And I look at the Minnesota Vikings and go like, there's 74 other problems you get to before you get to Kirk Cousins being the problem. And then I just think, again, you couple that with Kevin O'Connell and what he wants as a quarterback. And he likes that and coming from McVay and we know McVay loves Kirk Cousins too. That's where I just go. Wow. That's where I go, wow. Now, you know, again, like I said, I don't think he's a superstar, and there's some things to doubt with this que- this whole thing as well. I get it. Um, but, but man, I still just have a hard time, I think, when I think about a proven commodity like that. And now we're into Sam Darnold, and we hope we draft a good quarterback here the next few years. Uh, it's a tough call, but I just, I'm a little amazed by it, I guess. 